Oh, I'm here to do something really inspiring. These 242 crore trees looks like a big number, but we have billions of people on this planet. The best thing to do is everybody should start their own fundraising platforms. We will give an appeal in Bangalore, Chennai, other places for the youth to come. This is a battle plan, okay? A lot of stuff to do in the next few years. There's no reason why when we do something significant, people think they should do it with a long face. No, we can do significant things joyfully. Hello? Yes. <laughs> yes, we can. There are also simple solutions. People think solutions have to be really complicated, high-tech from somewhere. Not necessary, it's all in nature. Whether it's the United Nations or UNEP or with the governments in India, slowly we've turned the mindset around in the last three years that they are beginning to acknowledge, yes, it can be done this way. It is not necessary to have a billion dollar research on everything. It is simply by observing nature, we can replicate the same things effortlessly. So this turnaround of mindset is the biggest achievement of Rally for Rivers. Policy changes happened, that's great, but the real thing is, when we started, everybody was talking about dams, check dams, do this, do that. Now all that talk has gone down. Now everybody is talking about trees and trees to a point where UN went out to say that if you plant one trillion trees on this planet, the entire climate change effect could be reversed in ten to twelve years' time. They made this statement and we got the accreditation from UNCCD. Uh, <laughs> so that's a big boost for what we are doing right now. So how can we help to raise this uh, awareness and also funds for the recovery project? When I thought through this whole thing, I thought the government will be the biggest challenge. But we crossed that threshold, not very easy but we crossed it without too much difficulty. Well, it took uh, almost two years of relentless pursuit. So having crossed that, see these 242 crore trees, looks like a big number. But we have billions of people on this planet. And today, we can reach every human being on the planet through social media, online, so many ways. The best thing to do is everybody should start their own fundraising platforms. And make it very clear, transparent. If there are people who have… who are like influencers on whatever capacity, I think you should enroll them in your countries or in your cities or wherever, because they are the people who need to do this. See, it's because of people's support they have become who they have become. They have to do what is needed for the world. Now, one thing will be, oh, why should I do something in southern India? Kaveri is very important because it's a demonstrable model. For the rest of the tropical world, this is a demonstrable model. We are doing it here because geographically this is the best place to do for quickest possible results. This terrain you have seen, you've been through Kurg, you've been through Nagarhole, you've come to Mysore, you've been seeing all the lush places. Now we will go into Tamil Nadu, even there it'll be green. But I want you to vis uh, visualize, when these crops are not there, how the land will look. Now the place, the waterfall where we went, the Shivana Samudram, right now it looks so abundant, you can't believe this river needs your help. If you come in April, May, it'll be totally dry, no water, that's how it'll be. So that is the level of drastic change that will happen, that is what is worrying because the rainwater that comes down should go through the rainforest that is there and slowly come into the river. In four days it filled up that reservoir, which is not at all good. That's because water is just flowing on the surface. That is the main thing. So to make people understand this, it's taken a long time, but uh, I'm glad to see that both Kannada media and the Tamil media 
largely the mainstream media has understood the concept and it's gone to the people, this is what the solution. Everybody is clearly saying, yes, this is a smart solution. So that's a sea change in the society, in the media, in the government, this has happened. Now the challenge is this, we are looking at training five to ten thousand farmers to raise saplings. We must have the money power to buy it. I don't want to push the farmer into a place where he raises saplings and he, he doesn't know where to take it later. People should see that we will buy the saplings, there is demand for the saplings. And we ourselves want to set up about 350 nurseries. We want nurseries to be in every region so that transportation costs can be brought down. This forty-two rupees we will be counting in saplings, we are not counting money. But we also need money to buy trucks, to, you know, operate the teams. Right now, the Nadi Viras, as they are called, the river volunteers who have come, they are doing a fantastic job, but their number is not enough. Now we will give an appeal in Bangalore, Chennai, other places for the youth to come. For them, you know, food is no problem, but accommodations to be built is an issue. If we get a thousand volunteers, we are not capable of housing them. Proper vehicles should be there to travel, all this needs to happen. For all this, infrastructure is important. That will not come from this forty-two rupees. So, we need separate donations for that. So, we will see how to get those sponsors, corporate sponsors and other things. This is a battle plan, okay? A lot of stuff to do in the next few years. Let me ask,